Ladies, how's it going? I'm doing great. Well. How are you? I'm, I'm great, thank you. I want to thank you both for this fantastic film. I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. And Chris, I want to start with you because um, I, I want to know where it came from. Where the origin was it at all uh, semi autobiographical or? You would know? you Would you believe me if I said it wasn't? Come on, no, I wouldn't believe. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, it it, it is. Uh, <laughs> It is based a little bit on my own experience um, traveling back to my alma mater, which is Southern Illinois University, where the film takes place. And, and also, um, among other universities, I went on a little bit of a tour with my, my previous film, Unexpected, Yes. Uh, when, when that movie came out. And, um, and, and that experience inspired the movie, though. I promise you, nothing so crazy <laughs> happened to me. Uh, the the feeling of of these you know younger kids kind of being in awe of you, yeah, and not really feeling like you've you've made it yourself um, is is something that I I wanted to talk about. Something I thought was kind of unique. Yeah, well, you know, it's very relatable. And Gillian, for you, listen. We go way back. Okay, first of all, I have loved you since the first episode of Community, which I watched. It was not bingeable at the time. So, on City okay. TV? Yes, yeah, so I watched it in real television time. Uh -huh. And I, I love that series. It was so much. It was fun to watch Britta, everything that you did. The whole cast was great. So I just wanted to tell you that. So there you Thank go. Thank you. But you, playing Kate, to me, seems like this was just written for you. It, it seemed like so effortless for you. How much fun did you have playing her? I had a great time doing this movie. And, you know, I keep saying, but it's, I keep saying it because it's true. Chris did such an amazing job casting the film. So I really did kind of feel like the character being charmed and yeah. you know, falling for the, all these people. And so, yeah, it was just a pleasure to get to know them on screen and off and I just would have fun being with them. So um, it was it was not hard. It was just a joy. Is going back to college something that we're gonna see from you consecutively, you know, every Oh my God, you're right. Community <laughs> is college too. Um, I guess so. That's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. If you can always go back to college, why not, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> why not? Um, Chris, you, uh, the, uh, Aside from Gillian, who's so good in this, the casting is is great. But getting Jermaine Clement seriously pinching yourself, uh, mm -hmm. like he is the epitome of fantastic, and oh, he yeah. makes such a good slimy professor. I couldn't see anybody else in this role. <laughs> He's so good. I agree. I feel very very lucky. I truly do pinch myself all the time. He's he's so good in the in the movie, and he's. Um, so fun to work with and special guy. Yeah, yeah, he's fun. I've met him before and he's, he's just, oh, he's such a, I'm such a big fan. Uh, Gilly, working, like I say, we're working with this cast, working with these, well, I don't really want to call them kids because they're not really no, kids, but you they're know, adults. But they're adults. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you tell me about the bonding with them and how you guys established that great relationship because like I said, it was so natural when I was watching you in this role and it just felt, like you were at home. I I have a bad habit of asking relentless questions. <laughs> There's nothing bad about that. <laughs> and so I, I in between takes, you know, uh, I would just I ask people a lot of questions <laughs> and um, band rides to and from set and um and Chris really smartly had everyone go up to the lake where we shot the lake scenes um, early yeah. and uh, it's a camp. It's actually a camp. Um, and so we all stayed in cabins and the whole cast and crew got to hang out. And um, so, yeah, it, it was, it, it happened pretty naturally. And, you know, um, thankfully I really enjoyed working with everyone. So it felt natural. Yeah. Was there a lot of um, ad living? I mean, Chris, you wrote such a great script, but do oh, you- Oh, she's gone. Oh no, we've <laughs> lost her. Oh, I think uh, she'll be back. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll continue on, and yeah, if she sure. pops back in, I'll I'll jump in and ask yeah. her a quick question. Uh, oh, there she uh, is. I'm sorry. Oh, I think I'm gonna. Okay. I think I better go back inside. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever I'm works sorry. for you. Yeah, I I'm know. I'm sorry. My my kids are. Um, <laughs> my kids are. I'm trying to avoid the the noise of my kids. Not even a problem. Listen, this is, this is the new normal, my friend. Yeah, it's the new normal. 
You're going to follow me up to my bedroom. We're, we're getting a tour right now. People. Yeah, your this house is, an exclusive, is great. Canadian exclusive, everybody. We're getting a, a, a tour of Chris's home. Lovely. I like the wallpaper. I know. Oh, that's great, go. huh? That's, that's awesome. Here we go. Okay. There we go. She's back in her kitchen. Okay. 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 Very, very good. Okay. Now we're just on my bed. All right. Sweet. All right. <laughs> Listen, are you a director or something? That was like <laughs> very smooth. <laughs> that was uh, fantastic. And okay. now I completely forgot what I had just asked you. I did oh, anyway. ask you about ad living. Yeah, yes, improvising. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for paying attention to me. <laughs> yes. How how free were you with with the cast, letting them kind of go with it? I, I mean, I think I was pretty flexible, but people, but it didn't. We didn't do that much ad living. No. Um, I think it's pretty much as scripted, right? Yeah, it's pretty like. much as scripted. There are a few great moments that Jermaine um, yes, well, of course, I lived, and one of them I think was is uh, so I had just um, uh, talked to a, a journalist from the Tr Chicago Tribune, and she um, she ended up writing a lot about the specific moment where Jermaine's where you say thank you for having me, and he says thank you for being had. Yes, <laughs> I I think he he ad lib. I don't think that was scripted. Yeah. Yeah. And it ended up being like so poignant that she like, she really focused in on it and wrote about it as, you know, as, as a, a sort of like marker for like the, the whole, the whole story. And I, I was like, wow, I'm so glad that he did that. The <laughs> other really big ad lib in the, in the movie is tall Brandon kissing Hugo's mom. Oh which, yeah. Yeah. Which was not, not scripted. Um, they the the actual scene as written was that she just she says my name's Jen by the way and he says Brandon just Brandon and then they sort of like look at each other but um, <laughs> but they those two, two actors had so much chemistry and got along so well and I think that that Brandon real Brandon uh, the actor Brandon Daly kept saying yeah. like, I just feel like I want to kiss her it and works. she was so annoying. yeah. Um, yeah, and I was like, "Do you guys want to try a take?" And um, and it's one of the funniest parts of the whole film. As cringeworthy as it was, it worked. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> got to wrap in a few seconds. But I want to ask you, ladies, a uh, quick question: How many of us have been in that position where we do something and our self confidence is so squashed, we don't feel right about it? it, it from everything from you know the book cover, she doesn't like the book cover, and and she she open you know she gets her first reviews of the book and they're they're not so great and. Um, and we need something or, you know, to give us that confidence. So Gillian, for you, what is it that's, you know, gives you confidence and makes you keep going? I haven't found that thing yet. Uh, oh, come on. I, I know true, uh, that's an honest answer. I, I don't know. I got to work on that. Uh, I don't have a lot of self-confidence. <laughs> oh my God. Girlfriend. Uh, 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 you're so good. <laughs> you're so good at everything you do. Oh, that's very kind of you. I don't know. Chris, what do you have? Yeah, Chris, what about you? I, I honestly, you know, I ha I ha hate to admit it, but I, I, I really, I really thrive on external validation. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really, I mean, this is, you know, I, I wrote this movie not because I really like, not because I had some grand message that uh, about life that I understood that I wanted to impart, but because this is really something that I grapple with. Yeah. And um and trying to find confidence with with within yourself and and security about what you're doing i think a lot of people struggle with, struggle with that a lot of women struggle with that and yes. i know i struggle with it big time and um it's a journey that i'm on currently and and trying to trying to move through and um and i also think you know taking part of what helps build my confidence and i think m most people can relate to it is by by taking risks, by doing something, by 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 being bold and the, and by like by doing it, and then and then coming away and being proud of what you did, you know, mm -hmm. gives you confidence to do the next thing. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank you both for this film again. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm so happy that people are going to get to see it because me I, too. It's been a real bummer with South by Southwest, but you know what? There's always a silver lining somewhere, and yeah. I think this is just people are going to absolutely love it. So thank you so much for your time, ladies. Thank that was you. a lot of fun, and uh, we hope once the pandemic is over, you will come and visit us in person in Toronto. Please do. Oh yeah, love, love Toronto. Toronto. Thank love you, Bonnie. Good stuff. Take care. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Bye bye.